Now, let me see. I can get a minute each from you. I start with uh, uh, Mr. Boabing, who brought the various constitutions of uh, this country to deal the question of ICE with, with the question of ISIS. Unfortunately, he has just uh, uh, two minutes to do so. We are aware of uh, Nazo, uh, KNUST graduate. Unfortunately, we're told he sent a text message to his uh, relatives after he had left the country and informed them that he had joined ISIS. National Security has confirmed that information that they had it. Uh, also, there's another girl who is also being uh, rumored as also having, you know, falling to ISIS uh, maneuvers. My, my understanding is that uh, Alema left a message that he went out of hopelessness, mm. the inability to be integrated in this society with any hope, which is an indictment on our governance processes. I, on the lighter side, this is a very serious matter. I also hear there's some misinterpretation on social media about the unemployment graduate situation having gone down by one by one person because he has left. But that's on the lighter side. You see, my problem is that if we cannot protect Mr. the people of... <laughs> if we cannot protect the people of Amanfu, eh, here in Ghana, how can we prevent ISIS? Article 84 of the Constitution of Ghana. The functions of the National Security Council include considering and taking appropriate measures to safeguard the internal and external security of Ghana. As we sit here, the police function of making people who are Ghanaians safe and sound in bed is being outsourced to the individuals. Bring money to us or else we cannot protect you. But we have been doing that for a long time now. Really? In we what help way? them to build the places where they would bring their... Uh, uh, wh where we voluntarily done that or where they have asked us to do that. Because they have capitulated. Yeah. Uh, and they are telling time, us it, it must be clear that it mm. is the assembly that is making the request. That is them. very, very dangerous to our health. So I'm saying it again. If we cannot protect ourselves here at Amamfum, how can we prevent ISIS? You see, we have a duty to appreciate that cross-border crime is the area of the future. We have a duty to appreciate that when it comes to these movements mm. now, borders are very immaterial. Sorry, we have so to move on. So beef mm. up mm. our capacity okay. to deal with these things. Thank you. Or else. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Do you believe it when you heard it? And still, do you think that it is credible that we rely on the text message and all of these claims that indeed they have gone to ISIS? That's why I think we should tread cautiously. Because I can also send out a text message and say, I'm going to Boko Haram. And I'll go to Tiko, uh, Tikobu number one and be there. <laughs> so well, why would you do that? If why you, would exactly. I do that? Well, I think that people have great love for acting the way they act. So I have not yet heard ISIS itself saying that they have recruited Ghanaians. Mm. The last time Boko Haram indicated that they were part of ISIS, <laughs> Boko Haram said that they were part of ISIS. ISIS actually acknowledged Boko Haram. Mm. So I think that we should allow the security agencies to actually do their work. Mm. Let's not stampede them. But I think that what we should the be doing... The national security says it's, what it's we actually be doing, in charge. There yeah. are some, uh, uh, I say, Macaranta schools, mm, which are not affiliated to the Islamic Education Unit. We need <coughs> to have the Islamic Education Unit because I'm talking about indoctrination. Okay, thank and you. to find them yes, yes, to, ben, to, to be on ben, board. Some 30 seconds. I think it is sad that these developments are but I don't think that any one of us is surprised about it. I think that we collectively in this world must be held responsible for these disturbances that we have looked on, particularly for the Western world, to impose their doctrines on some of us. Go to Afghanistan, go to Iraq, go to Libya, and you see that the kind of invasion that occurred in these countries, particularly the killing of Gaddafi, you recall that Gaddafi, for instance, was asking Germany, Italy, to be paying him um, a billion dollars for helping to hold the issue of migrants into those countries. And okay. they did it. Eventually, when they killed Gaddafi, they dropped bombs, they dropped um, ammunition into the... Uh, yeah, and then eventually, it's causing could crisis Some for 30 us. seconds. Uh, I think I'll reserve my comment for now. Okay, thank um, you very much. But Adel my former request is, to Kuku 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 Kuku. is that. Um, thank you very much. His, uh, the show is the show is available good. at uh, nine thirty p.m. on this particular platform, and uh, thank you all for being part of the show. My outfit, as always, is provided by Latida. My guests have been have been Kweku Bako Junior. Um,
Bernard Mona of the PNC, the General Secretary. Uh, Abraham Amalba is uh, with the NDC's legal team and he is contesting the bogus central seat now. He's a parliamentary aspirant. Yao Bwabing Asamwa is also with the NPP and he is contesting the Adenta seat. Have a good afternoon. First time.